It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Sedona, Arizona is my favorite place to ride in the entire world. Every time I ride here, I find new things to session. The grippy terrain and giant rocks open endless possibilities. Aside from the riding, the views are absolutely breathtaking, and it's crazy to think that all of this stuff was at the bottom of the ocean 330 million years ago. The famous red color is a result of iron oxide, and mineral deposits run through these beautiful formations to create the white lines you see here. And none of these lines are more famous than the one located above Chicken Point, a popular viewpoint for tourists. See that? That's a trail. <coughs> trail? I've been traveling to Sedona for years, trying to tackle some of the most technical climbs I've ever found. There's legendary challenges like Templeton, and most recently, Bottoms Up, which had been called impossible. These trails always made up my hit list as I've successfully avoided the one trail that has scared me more than any trail ever has. Well, a couple months ago, when I turned 50, I told myself I needed to do something that scared the hell out of me. So I decided to go back to Sedona and check out the white line. And did I mention, I was gonna do this on my hardtail. All right, let me tell you a little story about this trail behind me called the white line. This thing is legendary in the mountain bike world. I feel like it's a rite of passage, kind of like breaking your collarbone to ride the white line. I know lots of people that have ridden the white line. They all tell me it's super scary, but super easy. So everything about this thing has always just scared the crap out of me. So what is it exactly that makes the white line so scary? Well, probably the death part. If you were to strike a pedal on the ground, it could very easily send you off the cliff, resulting in, you guessed it, death. And walking it really doesn't make it any less scary. And believe it or not, this is just the easy part. This is the really scary part, especially when you're 225 pounds, riding down this 20 foot really steep face and hoping that you stop at the bottom before going off the cliff is literally terrifying. It's still every bit as scary as I <laughs> Anytime I would think about doing this, it would literally make my heart race. I'd get sweaty palms just thinking about how I knew I had the skill to do this, but the consequence was literally life or death if you don't do it. The more I looked at it, the more intimidated I started to get. And since I didn't bring anybody else to ride with me so I could watch them do it first, because we all know seeing is believing, I figured that I came up with a better line to try to make it a little bit easier, and that was a big mistake. All right, here it goes. I was having a really hard time wrapping my head around the fact that I would actually have the traction to stop. Every video that I've seen of people doing this, they ride across the top, make a hard 90, go straight down the slope. But for some reason, I thought the better approach was to shave off about four feet on that top corner, do a big U, and effectively make it a shorter roll-in. But once I started to initiate the turn, I quickly realized that I was headed straight for those huge rocks at the bottom, which would have sent me over the bars down the cliff. So I panicked. It was literally the first time in 25 years of professional riding that I completely panicked. Had my tires gripped, I could have very easily high-sided and fell off the cliff. So I sat down, regrouped, questioned life choices. So what do you do when you almost die? You push your luck again. So this time I figured I'd just drop in from the top, see exactly what that line felt, and somebody came out to spectate. He offered to stand at the bottom, so I figured this was gonna be the only chance that I'd ever have to ride down the white line with somebody there willing to body check me if things go wrong. So I dropped in. Oh, that skid is so scary. Oh, that skid is so scary. You ride down and for two or three seconds, you're completely out of control, headed towards a cliff. And then the ground flattens out a little bit. You have to make the turn and the, the traction catches, your bike slows down and everything feels perfect. And it's this huge sigh of relief. Damn, 
That is freaking awesome. That roll down looks like that's way right there, but I'm gonna walk. I skipped that one on my hardtail. And then they extended this trail even further, so now there's some sketchy roll downs to get out of it. So I'm gonna go back up there and see if I can piece this whole thing together now that I've done all segments and see if we can ride this thing continuously, get some sick shots, and check this one off the list once and for all. All right, here it goes. White line, Sedona, Arizona. Don't wanna to go too fast, especially on these off camber humps. It unweights you and takes away your traction. So you actually purposely wanna crawl. Need a little speed for that one. And now, this is slow. That's the scariest part. Holy crap. You don't make that turn, you're going off the cliff. And now, it's a little less dangerous, but it doesn't get easier, because this new roll down is ridiculous. So rough on the hardtail. And then down here. Down here. Oh my god, that is so scary. Oh my god. Oh. Much success. Another thing that makes it super scary is you always have a live studio audience because there's an observation point right below to look at this thing. And not because people ride their bike across it, but just it's a popular spot where all the pink jeeps stop. So whenever you want to do this, there's usually 30, 40, 50, 60 people down there egging you on, which makes it even more difficult if you don't want to do it. After this, I hit this thing over and over and over and eventually even got the Strava local legend for the day because I think I rode it seven times. It wasn't even scary anymore. Everything works and it felt great. That was awesome. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, I've been thinking about this thing for years. Finally checked it off the list. Now, if I don't want to do it ever again, I don't have to, but it's actually not that bad. And I ended up riding it probably five or six times after that because once you get used to it, it's, it's really not that bad. I wouldn't recommend it to everybody, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So thanks for watching the video. Until next time, get out there and be a boss.